Everything that they wished would happen to you is happening to them. Not only were their prayers against you, prayers for themselves, they've made their bed and they're going to have to lie in it. A lot of people only think that Judgment Day is this day that is in the future that the world hasn't experienced yet. When a lot of people don't realize that Judgment Day happens every day. Because what do we know? Whatsoever man souls, he or she shall also reap. Some of these people were trying to do different hexes, curses, spells, all type of foolishness against you. And what they didn't realize where they were truly doing these things to themselves. The devil's children will always be deceived because they're listening to a liar. They're listening to a thief. They're listening to a counterfeit they would never reap the results that they thought they were going to reap sometimes it might seem like they do temporarily for a season but that's all an illusion a lot of these people are going to go into certain modes in their life where they're going to be isolated forever some of these people wish confusion against you some of these people try to affect your mind in different ways and there's a lot of ways to do that but we're spiritually protected they didn't realize that you were protected you don't never mess with a chosen one that's a suicide mission it's going to bounce back to you horribly a lot of these people wish for you to be confused to store all type of chaos in your life and in your mind and some of these people are not only going to end up in isolation but some of these people are literally going to end up in mental institutions some of these people actually wish that against you a lot of these people wish death on you but they're going to be dealing with an eternal death in this physical body they mind gone they're alive but they're stuck they're in bondage somewhere they're isolated now nobody can hear them they can't spread their lies from over there some of these people wish for you that you would never have a marriage never had love never have a family never have a child and these people are going to be not only not receiving those things as well for those of them who have any of these things they're all going to be taken away every last thing that i just mentioned and these people are going to be living with memories of their past that's all they're going to have Oh, I remember back when I was this age. I remember back in 93. I remember back in 2020. And that's the end of their story. That little bit of fun that they had from what they stole from the chosen ones, from the righteous ones, from the altars of the chosen ones and the righteous ones. That's all they're going to have to reflect on their entire life. Living in their old glory. Meanwhile, you're going to be going from glory to glory, victory to victory in ways that they have never seen. Everything that seemed like it was slow and coming for you is coming. You're getting your restitution, love, marriage, career, purpose, spiritual growth, healing. A lot of those things that seem like they took time, they're coming. And not only are you going to get them, but they're not ever going to leave. They're going to sustain it's going to be worth the wait what does it say great things come to those who wait scripture tells us wealth gained quickly will dwindle hastily just as fast as a person come up is as fast as a person to be torn down especially when it wasn't built on a solid foundation this doesn't just apply to wealth this applies to anything if you fake yourself to be or to look like something that you're not, oh, that's all going to come crashing down one day. This is not even to digress, but look at how many of these people who had certain injections and certain things like that, they having to reverse all of it. For a season, they seem to be winning on the ground. For a season, it seemed to make them famous or successful in that type of way. But now it's having detrimental effects on their body. And instead of them being honest and just saying, look, I got to get this taken out because it's killing me. A lot of them, instead of saying that, are coming up with every other reason. But all of that that they put there for false gain, superficially, all of that's being taken away because it's killing them. Some of these people have certain things done to try to compete with what you have naturally this is not to knock people. The Most High can lead certain people to do certain things. So I'm not going to put everybody in one box. But the people that I'm talking about here are malicious. The people that I'm talking about here are envious. The people that I'm talking about here have very low self-esteem. And they went through great lengths. Even if it was to put their own body, their own mental health at stake, just to try to compete with what you have God-givenly. It's all going to be taken away. Some of them is already being taken away now. A lot of these people wish for you to be in lack, wish for you to be having nothing that worked out for you. And now some of these people are going to be stuck in a state of perpetual boredom. Nothing is going to satisfy them. Some of these people ended up being addicted to certain things, where whether it was money, fame, success, clout, certain substances. These people have overdone it so much that not only is it going to be taken away, but anything that they do receive, it's just not going to give them satisfaction. Some of these people were too much physically. Some of these people did a lot. Some of these people, oh, they wrote you off and they were dealing with this person, sleeping with this person, doing all these things. And they're going to be stuck in a state of can't, let me just be honest, they can't even get it up. 
or in a female's case y'all know how it's opposite for women but y'all already know what i'm trying to say here without being too explicit some of these people not even going to be able to get the satisfaction and we're not even talking about in the context of marriage because that's written out for them. They're not about to have a healthy marriage or a marriage with a person that was divinely sent for them. Some of these people are married and there's no satisfaction within that relationship. They don't even have any intimacy. And y'all know what I mean by intimacy with the person that they're with and they won't ever. These are things that they wished against you and now their partner can't even get excited for them. And some of them can't function. A lot of these people are going to be walking around shattered, defensive, always looking over their shoulder because it's going to seem like one thing after the next, which is what they meant to happen for you. Meanwhile, you're breaking through cycles. You're crossing out cycles that would never return. Cycles that seem to repeat and repeat and repeat in your life for such a long time, they won't repeat anymore. Meanwhile, these people will always be stuck at that point and feeling like, okay, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow never gets here. They're always going to be stuck in that state of perpetual lack, in that state of perpetual discontent, in that perpetual state of lack of healing. Many of them wished against the success that you already have, and they're going to be stuck in a perpetual state of fantasy fantasizing some of these people i'm seeing are the people that's like oh i can manifest i can bring everything into my life by law of attraction i'm the one in control and they're gonna be in a perpetual state of trying to visualize things of trying to manifest things outside of god's will they're sowing in this season what they reap this is harvest season they're gonna be stuck in a continual state of fantasy telling people oh, i'm gonna do this next year this is what i'm gonna do next month this is what i'm gonna do and nothing ever happens it always seems so clear in their mind yet it's not ever going to physically manifest they had their time to get it right, but instead they wanted to play, not only play, but they wanted to play with your life and they gonna be paying for it now for the rest of their life. For those of you, not only are you receiving a divine healing, you've been doing the work, but you're also gonna receive that boost to get that full healing. Everything in your life is happening in perfect order. Even the things that you didn't understand, you're about to have that full circle. It's all about to make sense moment. The victory is on your side and always has been no matter what it looks like. A lot of these people, they thought they were winning because the Most High made it look like they were winning certain battles. But oh baby, what they didn't understand that you was always destined to win the war. And when it's done, it's done. And that's what's happening in the lives of these people who wish things against you. Everything they wished against you is happening to them. In so many more ways that I don't even have time to get into this video. Some of these people wish certain disease against you, certain sickness against you, and now they're going to be stuck with a particular mental health issue that nothing can get rid of. No therapy would help. No medicine would help. None of that. Some of them are going to have certain dis-ease in their body. Some of these things could be sexual. Some of these things could just be physical. Things that are coming off of their body. Certain things Holy Spirit doesn't want me to say that they're going to be dealing with it. It makes them want to be isolated because they're not going to want to have anybody really around them to see and get the full essence of what it's really like to be around them. Everything that's been boiling on the inside of these people is going to manifest externally. All of that green and that envy that they had on the inside... Oh, now it's going to seep out and do some very nasty damage, not only to the lives of these people, but to everything that they touch and everything around them. Continue to keep moving forward. The Most High is so proud of you. You should definitely be proud of yourself as well. You're not alone. You're exactly where you need to be. The path that you're on, this is a path of longevity. You will not be moved. You are and will continue to be Psalms 1 like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields fruit in its season and its leaf does not wither in all that you do you prosper. The wicked, these people that I'm speaking about who wished against you are not so but are like chaff that the wind drives away. PrettyBossTV.com if you would like to book personal prophetic guidance with me. Also, feel free to join us on Patreon.com if you would like to support what we do here on a monthly basis. We also do 30 Days to Success, which is phenomenal. And we also have a 30 Days to Success podcast that we do daily. And we have monthly live streams that we've been doing more frequently. Thank you all so much for those of you who support, who sends love donations, who sends to my cash app, who supports right here on youtube subscriptions likes comments shares i love all of you so much i thank y'all more than you can imagine it helps me to continue to do what i'm doing here on a regular basis i'll talk to y'all soon y'all willing peace